Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. My name's Glenn and today we're gonna be opening up F1 Dynasty 2022. I have an entire case here. We're gonna be opening up at least one of these boxes in today's video, so let's get right into it. Before we get into today's unboxing, just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been smashing up the like button and to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining the channel. You can also follow me on all my social medias under the name Hammond's Hobbies or the F1 Facebook group uh, called F1 Sports Cards. Today we are opening up F1 Dynasty and this is all thanks to one of the viewers out there under the name John and he has kindly allowed me to open up these boxes on his behalf. So I'm gonna show off his Instagram. You can follow him at collectf1 on Instagram and I will link his name down below. So big shout out to John, send him some love, give him a follow on Instagram. But let's get right into opening up this case here. So what are we looking for? We are looking for a low numbered F1 Dynasty, typically in these uh, cases, you get normally, and this isn't set in stone, but this is just from my own personal experiences, you normally get one team boss out of the five cards. Uh, you normally get a couple of uh, triple patches. So that's the one where there's three patches along the bottom. This year's ones look really good. If you look at last year's ones, the triple patches look, they call, we refer to them as napkins. They're sort of like just plain, there's no logos, nothing. So like it'll just be green, white, green. So if it was Aston Martin. But this year there's all logos in them. There's like uh, zippers and all sorts of stuff in it. So uh They've been very popular. They've been selling very well. Um, and for big uh, collectors out there, this is like the one to get. So we have the five boxes there. We're going to just obviously pull one out randomly. This is the box that they come in. And we're going to see what we get in today's video. So big shout out to John. Let's wish him all the best of luck. And hopefully we can get a low number. Normally in a whole case you get typically one low numbered hit out of the whole case so hopefully we can hit that for him um, either as a lewis hamilton or a, um, a george russell i spoke to him earlier and he said that he would like to pull a low numbered george russell so let's wish him all the best and let's get right into it let's open this box up I remember when I opened these up for myself last year, I almost had a heart attack, so I'm glad I'm opening it up for someone else now. <laughs> but maybe John's about to have a heart attack. Let's find out, let's find out what hit have we got here. If you guess it before we say it, comment down below. It's a triple patch. We've got a triple patch going on here. Looks blue to me. Who's blue? Might be an Alpine. Let's find out. Fernando Alonso, seven out of 10 triple patch. Obviously Fernando Alonso being very hot this year. Um, obviously his first two races he's been on the podium so he's going to be very sought after at the moment so uh, big sh well done to John because uh, I can imagine Fernando Alonso cards are very popular at the moment. Congratulations you have just hit an F1 Dynasty triple relic autograph card from 2022. So the way that these work is that you get a uh, autograph from the driver actually on the card. If you look at Topps Chrome uh, they normally have the little sticker that say top certified. So that means the driver has sat there and signed loads of little stickers. 
With these, they're actually signed on the card. So we know Fernando Alonso had this card in his hand. And also we have his uh, patches of uniform. And like I say, this year, they include actually logos. So you know they are from the uniform, whereas last year's ones would just be like all blue or all white. Um, and they looked pretty plain and boring. So this year's uh, F1 dynasties look awesome. So a uh, big shout out to John. Well done. If you are interested in maybe acquiring this card off John, if he's willing to let it go, you can find him over on Instagram at collectf1. And uh, obviously you can always message me and I can send you his way. So a big fat sh thank you to John for allowing us to open this box up for your entertainment today. That's it from me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out HammondsHobbies.com for any F1 single cards you need. Also, you can find me on any of my social medias uh, under the name Hammonds Hobbies or the Facebook group F1 Sports Cards. That's it from me, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.